What is chaos theory? Chaos theory is a scientific concept when applied to management practice stands for the proposition that organizations are complex, dynamic, nonlinear, co-creative organizations or systems that are far from a state of equilibrium. They are, they are constantly in flux. So at any point in time, an organization is simply a combination of chaotic undertakings and orderly systems at the same time. So as the organization increases in complexity, so does it increase in volatility based upon the chaotic nature of those systems and how they interact within the organization. So management must therefore prepare for environmental and technological changes constantly because these lead to increased complexity and ultimately volatility in the organization. And you can't predict the level of change that's going to come or the chaos or the volatility that's going to be present just by looking at past events because of the novel nature of things that organizations face. So simply put, as the organization becomes more and more complex, you must continue to subdivide the operations of the organization into subsystems whereby they interact collectively together in these systems that interact largely together at a larger level. But if you can break down the individual processes into systems, then they can, to a certain extent, self-regulate to a greater extent. Now, your traditional hierarchical structure of an organization tends to hurt the ability to break organizations down in the systems because it tends to look at the organization as singular and management at the top makes decisions that flow down. But if you break organizations into systems, much of the decision making and autonomy has to happen within those systems. So having the traditional hierarchy thwarts the ability of those systems to act independently and respond to the chaos that is inherent in a larger, more volatile organization. So what are the steps in chaos theory? Well, to start with, you have to develop a target, objective, or goal for the organization. The things that you want to achieve, uh, a vision, a mission, the, the raison d'etre. And then you need to uh, create a capable system that can reach these sub goals that contribute to the greater goal. So these systems themselves have identifiable goals and the systems are made capable of reaching those individual goals. So breaking it down in this way makes the complexity easier to deal with because it's being done with individually on a singular system level. And then you control the inputs or have control inputs where you can influence the system itself. And this is where the management role comes in. How can they control system behavior by uh, introducing resources through oversight, through control mechanisms, through reporting structures, uh, that type of thing. So this is the essence of chaos theory, which once again is a scientific principle applied to the organization and to management practice.